Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackshido here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in this video, we are going to install Kali Linux on an Android phone. Actually, this is my old Android phone and I wanted to install it on this. This is the phone details. This is a Realme X2 and it is running on Android 11 version and most probably this is a gaming processor and you can see all the specs there so the first thing what we need to do is we need to install termx so for that i am leaving a link in the description so that is a github link so you can open that and if you are on mobile just try to open it in the desktop mode and uh, click on the latest release there you can see a particular uh, software called termx version 0.118 and it is of arm 64 bit okay and it is an apk file you need to download this you need one more application that is net hunter okay so this is an app store net hunter app store so you need to download this as well because providing installation rights from the unknown sources to chrome is much riskier than the uh, file manager because file manager whatever we have downloaded we can go there and click there and it, it can be installed but uh, giving the rights to chrome installation rights is not an accepted one so i would suggest this way so open the file manager and go to the apk file wherever you have downloaded it if you can see in the downloads or something like me if you can see something called apks okay you can open that and uh, now you can just uh, click on each and uh, the two softwares and while installing it will definitely ask you to install whether to install it from the unknown source or not you need to provide a permission there go to the settings and when you come back you will have a button called install and you can directly install it right like this and you need to do the same with uh, NetHunter as well all right once you have installed it now the task is you need to open the net hunter store okay so once you open the net hunter store there will be a search icon uh, below so you need to click on that search icon and search for net hunter kicks okay so net hunter k e x all right so just you can directly download it right from here itself and uh, while downloading also uh, it will be asking you some rights the installation rights for this particular software for the net hunter store so you need to provide that so once you provide that then you will be able to get the uh, you will be able to install this particular application so this is same like the google play store we have something called net hunter store so from there we are downloading an application right here once you have installed it go back to the home and now you need to open the termx app okay that you have installed previously when you tap on it tap on the backspace you will get the keyboard and you can type in termx click on the black space and you should get your keyboard right up there and just type in the termx setup storage and hit on enter this will give you a prompt asking for the permission to access the storage and just click on allow that's it and now what you want to do is you need to uh, update this just type in apt update and this should update and now just type in apt upgrade so these things we are doing just to make sure uh, that uh, we don't have any uh, i mean if there is any uh, deficiency in the packages so that packages will be fulfilled so that's the reason we are doing this and wherever if there is any prompt asking for s or no that is basically to install an application so you can give s or install a particular package so you can obviously give yes there okay and multiple times like this you will be getting uh, to uh, provide some input okay so just put y all right now it is completed so the next thing what you need to do is you need to again update it so that just to check if all the packages are up, up to date or not yeah it says all packages are up to date now we need to install the wget so for that apt install wget and this will install and type in yes and this should install the wget 
So now using wget, we need to download a particular resource uh, for the NetHunter. Okay, so that is nothing but the NetHunter installer. Okay, so wget space hyphen capital O NetHunter installer HTTPS and type in the exact uh, characters or words whatever I type here. Uh, if any and these are all case sensitive if you miss any capital letter or small letter so that is going to not download anything and you can just hit on enter and this has downloaded the NetHunter installer so now uh, just type in ls and observe that we have the NetHunter installer right here itself so just to check if we have the executable rights for this uh, and we can see that we don't have any executable rights for this particular one right here okay so now what are we doing is we need to use chmod to just uh, provide some executable rights just type in chmod space plus x space nethunter installer so you can just paste it right here just like this and you can hit the arrows which are available over there and this should give the executable rights and now again you can check ls space dash al that will give the executable rights right here so now the point is you need to execute this particular nethunter dot dash installer okay so you need to provide dot slash and provide that particular name whatever you want to install and hit enter and now you need to provide the full uh, we need to install the full NetHunter ARM64 so for that the value is 1 so provide 1 there and hit on enter and uh, what if what if uh, you are not able to do the this particular step the the exact this particular step dot uh, slash NetHunter installer so when you click on that I have faced the particular issue and I don't know what happened but when I tried it in the night time, it did not work. I am in IST and when I tried in the early in the morning, just like that, just to check if it is working again or not. And it just worked just like that. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah, uh, if it doesn't work, you keep on doing it. But there is one more thing that we need to take care that uh, this is going to take a lot of time. So I, I recommend you to uh, make the auto screen off to 30 minutes so that the screen won't get locked and it won't disturb any any of the activities going on in the back end okay and you should really need a very high speed internet and if you can see uh, my internet is 9.40 mb per second downloading at once and you need if you have a little bit uh, low speed and you will have to wait a lot of time for me it took minimum of uh, 20 minutes so after a lot of time you will you will get something called root fs that is being uh, installed and uh, that is being integrated so this will also get, take a lot of time so it's a continuation of the previous one only you don't have to intercept anywhere or you don't have to do anything here in that prompt you need to provide n okay so we don't want to delete the download and now we are into the kali so this basically installed and now what we have to do is we need to call the NetHunter just like this by typing NetHunter and this should give the Kali prompt okay so now we are into the command line interface of Kali and you can type in whatever you know about the commands okay pwd or who am I it says Kali alright so I just want to put a very quick nmap scan on my router so this is my router IP address local IP address so you can also do like this and uh, check if you are getting the uh, exact I mean uh, if the nmap is properly working or not okay all right let me clear everything so now the point is we need the graphical user interface so for that we are using NetHunter Kex okay so this NetHunter Kex for this we are provide we are trying to put a password so for this you need to type NetHunter uh, kex pswd and you need to provide the password and this, this has to be six digits and you need to provide one two three four I mean anything whatever you want so you can provide it and uh, uh, if there is any prompt that uh, you only password should be enabled or not so you can put no you don't want to do that 
and then you can directly ask for NetHunter Kex. Okay, so this should uh, provide some warnings, but you don't have to worry about those warnings as of now. Okay, so now the point is let me zoom out, and now if you can see, uh, it says uh, the display one, and at the port it says 5901. Okay, so these are the particular things which we want to connect so now quickly navigate to the NetHunter Kex okay and open that particular app which you have installed and provide the asked permissions and now you need to do few things that is uh, in the place of localhost uh, you need to provide localhost colon one and uh, in the place of port number, you need to provide the exact port number what is mentioned there. So it is 5901. Oh, sorry. It is 5901. All right. And you need to provide the password what you have given there. I have given 123456. And uh, yeah. This is an expected output for me because I have tried it and I got the same output. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the uh, error that we are getting and it is telling that there is something called dbus launcher which is not being able to access. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to install that dbus uh, uh, packet or package. Okay. We need to install that dbus package and uh, I think this is not working. So what I will do, I'll just uh, uh, exit from this term term X and I'll again open this term X. So now once after opening the term X, this is not the right place to give because we want the uh, the error was in Kali Linux. Okay, it is not in the term X. So for that, we need to enter into Kali Linux. So for that, we are giving NetHunter and this is giving us the Kali Linux term X, uh, terminal and now we, what we are doing we, we want to update uh, the uh, do an update okay we want to do an update and uh, this is trying to do an update on Kali but there is something a small error basically this error uh, uh, is about uh, the DNS is not properly I mean the name server is not properly uh, set so what we are doing we are uh, providing the exact name server what it has to be okay and uh, if you also face the same issue just uh, try doing this thing uh, provide the same uh, uh, command what I have provided here echo name server 8.8.8.8 and pipeline and then sudo t etc slash resolve dot conf okay and just hit on enter and this should provide the name server 8.8.8 and now just again try to do the update and this should update okay all right now what we want to do is we just want to install that particular package uh, which is an error you can provide sudo apt install dbus dash x11 so x11 and hit on enter and now this will install the dbus and the dbus launcher what we have got error there so that error uh, is i mean that particular launcher is within this particular package okay you can install this and you can directly now i mean everything is typed and so now you can directly access by uh, giving kex but the point is like we will go back we will exit from this Kali Linux and then we will uh, try to uh, provide the net hunter kex and do these things okay you can also provide kex there itself but I'm doing like this okay so now go back to the net hunter kex and uh, just try to provide the same uh, details whatever you have provided previously and this should be able to provide the graphical user interface okay and you need to click on connect so once after providing the password just click on connect and this will give you directly the graphical user interface of this particular one okay but uh, yeah i did not like the graphical user interface although because uh, it's very difficult uh, to use it like this uh, you can also connect a mouse and do but uh, there are a lot of chances that it is going to struck okay so 
I would suggest this is the best way. You can just uh, open this and you can do these things uh, within the uh, command line interface itself. And that's my suggestion. Okay. After installing the Kali Linux into my Android phone, my wallpaper has changed. I mean, I have changed it to this just for the swag. If you have any issues, just leave a comment so that I'll try to address those. Okay. All right then. Have a great day. Bye bye.